Intel surprised us last CompuSex with unique prototype dual screen devices like the Tiger Rapids concept with an e-ink screen. This year, the company has even more to show off here at its technology open house. These dual screen devices demonstrate the ability of Intel's 8th gen and newer core processors and the ability of them to power such resource intensive devices. But it's more than just a proof of concept. At the risk of sounding a little too hype, I think these demos are very telling of the exciting future of PCs. The Twin Rivers prototype in particular is the second generation of such a dual screen prototype we've seen from Intel. And so it makes sense that the device feels a little more mature. Don't get me wrong, it's still a little buggy, it did refuse to cooperate sometimes, but at least its screen was a lot more vibrant than before and actually looked really nice. That's important since screens are basically the main feature of Twin Rivers. The Twin Rivers prototype itself packed two 12.3 inch screens running at 1920 by 1280 resolutions, which gives them a aspect ratio of 3 by 2. They could be set up in all kinds of configurations, like any two-in-one, you could use this in tent mode, for example, to show a presentation to the people sitting across from you. You can also use it like you would a typical laptop and have the bottom screen display a customized version of the Microsoft keyboard with even a trackpad on the screen, so you can fire out a quick message or an email. Um, but if you want a more natural, intuitive typing experience, you can always connect a wireless keyboard. The nice thing about the keyboard with the prototype here at the show was that you can actually put the very thin keyboard accessory on top of the bottom display and then snapshot the Twin Rivers prototype and just take the whole package with you. The keyboard actually fits in there pretty snugly and doesn't fall out and the whole thing just feels like a folio. But the real benefit of having the two screens is obviously really powerful multitasking. You can actually look at a video on the top screen while taking notes on the bottom with a stylus, or run different apps at the same time, maybe have Slack on the bottom screen while you're working on your article or essay at the top screen. You can also lift up this uh, dual screen device and hold it as you would a book and then read comics on it or maybe check out some recipes. The applications that Intel had on show here weren't actually full-fledged apps. They're just ways that Intel hopes to inspire developers to make use of this new form factor to come up with creative uses of such modes. You can also take notes in book mode as well, which given that the prototype device was slightly heavy, I didn't really want to do very much. But in the future, when an OEM, for example, takes this idea and runs with it and makes a very lightweight device in such a form, it could really make dual screen note taking with one hand an actual possibility. On the outside of these prototype devices is a sort of soft fabric covering that not only makes the device feel a bit more book-like, but also is supposed to help keep things cool. This is a fanless design, so obviously heat dissipation is very important here. It is, after all, powering two whole screens. Since this is just a prototype concept thing that really isn't going to hit the market, I'm not going to bother telling you about how many ports it has. There is a USB-C here that they're using for charging up with power and stuff. And one of these actually has LTE built in. So there's actually a lot of different ways that manufacturers could customize these types of devices and make them even more useful for you. But we really won't know until we see these in reality out in the real world. But the biggest question about dual screens isn't always will be power consumption. And that's something that Intel is working on and also understands is basically the most important thing here. There are three ways that Intel can tackle this problem. The first of which being the low power display tech that it unveiled last year. Now, because the right size screens with low power display tech aren't available for this particular prototype yet, Intel didn't integrate it. But there's nothing stopping third party manufacturers from using that technology in their actual devices. But aside from the screen tech, the CPUs are also built for power efficiency so that your battery can last a lot longer. With something that Intel is calling dynamic tuning, the CPU will, based on what you're using the laptop for, try to prioritize performance or power efficiency and therefore make your battery last a lot longer. With dual screen devices, there's also ways to squeeze in more battery into them. With the Twin Rivers device, Intel actually builds in battery into both the bottom and the top halves of the device. Even with all of these power management tricks, Intel admits there might be some trade-off when it comes to 
battery life. But the idea here is that you're getting so much from the dual screen setup that that's a compromise you might be willing to make. Still though, even as just concepts, we have seen Intel and its partners take novel form factors and push them out to the market. For example, Asus's ZenBook Pro Duo is already a working version of the Honeycomb Glacier concept that they showed off here. And last year's Yoga Book was also a dual screen device that did go on for sale. Intel also tossed around the word foldable a bunch of times here that seems to be the direction towards which Twin Rivers might be headed, or at least branched off towards. And we've already seen that Lenovo is prepping the world's first laptop with a foldable screen. So even though these are all just concepts right now, they are a very good sign that the PC industry is headed somewhere extremely exciting. For all of that news and more out of Computex 2019, stay tuned to Engadget.